welcome friends to my channel neeraj kap say today uh, we are going to see how you can set up uh, anaconda environment that is machine learning environment uh, for conducting some computer vision applications or machine learning applications and all okay so how you can set up anaconda and different repository library uh, with the anaconda okay for that uh, you need to open uh, just google anaconda so once you type anaconda there is a website known as anaconda.com just click on that website you have to uh, first download the setup from this website okay so you'll get uh, data science technology for like this so this website is there so current earlier uh, this anaconda environment is a free of charge but uh, currently it's uh, they have different verticals as well so from this you can go to a products and then individual edition it is open source edition uh, rest of the editions are uh, the like paid editions so we require individual editions but we can install all the libraries and repositories so that you will get full feature edition so individual edition after that uh, you'll get your data science toolkit uh, here it is download version available so we have different packages like open source conda package manage environments and all okay we can install pandas and everything okay so i can download it from here so just click on a download so it comes here so there are different versions available so uh, anaconda installers so this is for windows download this is for mac os and this is for linux okay so those who are using 64 bit operating system of a windows they can select this download option those who are using 32 bit operating system they can select this option uh, those who are using mac you know, with 64 bit they can choose this and uh this is again mac with command line interface so uh, this uh, interface is not having a gui uh here it is a linux uh, with uh, uh, 32 bit and it linux with uh, 64 bit as well okay so my system is having uh, windows with uh, 64 bit so just i will select this uh it starts downloading okay so i have already downloaded this uh, here but i will download once one more time so i will save it so once you download uh, you will get uh, the package to be uh, downloaded under the directory so i will open that earlier downloaded version so here it is uh, i have already downloaded this uh, 64 and 86 uh, bit of uh, downloaded version so uh, after uh, this okay uh, once you have downloaded this anaconda package just uh, here it is uh, 468 uh, mb of package size uh, just double click on this particular uh, package so we started uh, installing the package here so displays the message like welcome to anaconda uh, 2020.11 64 bit setup click on a next after that uh, here it is a user license agreement uh, so you have to uh, click on a agree to continue this uh, there are two options that uh, we can install it for just just for me or for all users so i will keep uh, just for me click on next Uh, here it is a path setup where uh, it's actually uh, going to install it is on c users need hk uh, anaconda 3 so just click on next so here this this option is very important that uh, we have two options like one is add anaconda 3 to my path environment variable uh, so if you, you have already installed some python uh, applications on your pc and if you want to use same repository for that python application as well then you have to tick this okay add anaconda path the uh, anaconda 3 to my path environments variable or uh, if you have not installed any of the uh, python then uh, no need to tick this okay register anaconda to my default python 3.8 and just click on a install so it's automatically uh, collect all the uh, things and then started installing the setup okay it installs qt and everything extract the packages it takes some time for installing this anaconda 2020 uh, python 3.8 uh, tar package so it will take another 5 to 6 minutes for installing this so wait till it's complete
okay till uh, this package uh, is installed successfully till we will wait uh, and i will tell you um, how we can create uh, different repositories and how we can create an yml file for that uh, we require to create an yml file so i have already created a yml file i will give you a link to download these yml files uh, in my description window or description uh, window so you can download this yml file so i have uh, included all the repositories so what is yml actually it is a um, file in which all the repository system is included so different uh, so i will just open this by using notepad plus plus okay so uh, it is a python cv course name of this particular file uh, channels so default channels so dependencies uh, i'm going to install jupyter 1.0 jupyter lab keras matplotlib and nb convert nb format notebook numpy o file open cv pilo pip open cv3 that is 3.4.2 and also we have python qt console skykit learn uh, yes esip and uh, six SQLite, also TensorFlow and OpenCV. So these are the versions available. So uh, you you uh, once you uh, add these dependencies uh, file, uh, it will get automatically uh, started installing this particular versions and all. Okay. Uh, if you want to update the version as well, so you, there is a command to update the versions as well. Just uh, you can write uh, sudo uh, apt dash get update. You will get update. So there are three different files I have uploaded. Uh, so you can download these files so if you are using windows select this file if you are using mac then select this particular file so for mac yml file is little bit different so the versions are different for mac so um, this is again uh, for mac and uh, if you are using a linux then this is the uh, file for the linux that is uh, cv course linux so you can open with this uh, as well so these are the three files so one is for windows another is for uh, mac, mac and uh, linux so you can download these uh, particular files Okay, and uh, wait for uh, this Anaconda to be installed completely. It will take some time to uh, install. Once it's done, uh, it shows uh, collecting packages for metadata and uh, solving the environments, working done, and it start installing the things and packages. Wait for some time again. Uh, you'll get next button active once uh, is once it's done with uh, all the package installation and all. Okay, once it's done, uh, you'll get completed message here and uh, just click on the next button. Uh, then uh, also you can get PyCharm if you want to install the PyCharm. You can get uh, PyCharm from here. Anaconda that PyCharm. You can download the PyCharm Pro as well. So click on a, so I can open this as well. Okay, so click on a next after this. Okay, PyCharm is opened here. So I can download the PyCharm environment here if you require. Uh, so here it is uh, individual tutorial and getting started with Anaconda. I just remove this and just finish it. Once it's done, uh, so Anaconda is installed and I have two files. Uh, this is Windows, uh, Macros and SML. So I will. I'm, I'm on a Windows, so I will copy this particular Windows file into the directory where the Anaconda is already installed here. Uh, under NeerHK only, I will paste it here in the my documents. So I need to read the path of this particular file. Okay. So here you can go to uh, Anaconda prompt. So here it is Anaconda prompt available. So just click on Anaconda prompt. Okay, you will get C colon user slash NeerHK. Uh, then Anaconda prompt and you can type Conda activate. So once you type Conda activate, uh, it just activated the uh, Anaconda. Then Conda version, we can take uh, version now as well. So for that, the command is Conda slash dash version. So you'll get Conda 4.9.2 is installed. And also you can type Conda info for getting information about the Conda which packages uh, it's installed and all so everything will be displayed here so what are the things base version environment and repositories and packages you'll get it here okay so uh, now to install the yml file so we can write conda so i can clear it first 
uh, CLC, I can write CLS. CLS is the command for clearing the screen. Uh, now to install the uh, all the repository, the command is conda env uh, create the environment C R E A T E create minus f so you have to write here file name cv course underscore windows dot yml so same file name i have pasted the file in the same repository here cv course underscore windows dot yml so same i am giving and just hit the enter button so we need to uh, give the connection of internet to it and then we start collecting the packages and metadata and started installing the packages it will take uh, some time for installation so we'll get all the information regarding the environment setup passing it's extracting the packages now stack it learn 3.4 mb is downloaded and installed uh, keras application is installed zinta uh, then ipy kernel then tensorflow is installed tbb pyresist ipython then uh, jupyter lab uh, numbers sip opencv contrib is just collecting uh, the size of opencv contrib is 36.7 so like this uh, uh, it start installing the packages so here uh, again tensorflow is installed opencv then PyQuote, uh, PyQuity, everything uh, is installed. TensorFlow Blaze is also installing. So uh, with uh, a single click, uh, you you can install all the packages. Uh, no need to um, type all the repository names and all. So it's very uh, easy setup to install all the repositories for uh, OpenCV and uh, computer vision and machine learning environment creation. MKL is installed. Web encoding, when store, Jupyter Lab, uh, NB format, then packaging, Bleach, NumPy, Jupyter Pillow, Lib Open CV. Then Intel OpenMP, then PyWin, OpenSSL, then SciPy, Notebook 5.6. Python 3.6.6 .6 again. So you can use both uh, like earlier version Python as well and this version Python as well uh, because you have ticked uh, while installing the Anaconda you have ticked that option. Okay, then Qt console is also installed, send to trash, entry points, then pip, SQLite, NumPy is also installed, test path and then uh, after that you will get uh, completion done verification has been done already so it's doing verification now so if it is uh, proper then you will get done and finished verification message on the screen here okay still it's verifying verification is done now uh, it started executing the libraries so uh, I start executing and connecting with the libraries if uh, uh, it is connected properly then offline you can run all the applications and all the programs no need of internet uh, for running this because we already uh, installed all the repositories So all the environment is created uh, successfully. So you will get execution status has been done here. Then finish. Okay. So still is running.
will take some time for execution of all the you know, programs and all. <coughs> okay, once it's done, uh, uh, you will get message like user profile has been successfully created, uh, execution has been done, debug message, uh, uh, it's executed all the things and then uh, to activate this environment, use Conda activate Python CV course. Uh, and uh, to deactivate this, uh, right, you can write uh, deactivate. I, I need to activate the environment now, so I can write Conda activate Python dash CV course. So once I've done it, uh, it's activated. So I can write uh, the commands here. So I can use this Python dash CV course and I can write the commands here. Okay, so this is about uh, how we can set up an environment for machine learning and computer vision applications. So if you like this particular video, please press like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please press subscribe button and also press notification bell icon for next upcoming updates. Thank you for listening. Thank you.